Scott just pulled in about 10 minutes ago. It is warm, very warm. As a matter of fact, I've been here before, but you know, today is the first day of fall, officially for me, as, I, as I'm filming this live. I know there's a little bit of a delay still. First day of fall, and here in this part of Missouri, here in Lamar, is almost the hottest part of the country. Only Phoenix, Arizona is warmer. It's 96 degrees here still at 5 p.m. But we're hotter than Tampa and Miami and uh, Vegas and Los Angeles and all the places in Texas. Uh, only Phoenix is tied with us today as far as temperature. It is warm, really warm. No biggie though, I came back to a spot where I've been before. I'm here at that free uh, little campground in, in Lamar, Missouri with hookups, so I've got 30 amp plugged in, got the air conditioner running. I am going to sleep with the air conditioner, I, I need it bad. But uh, hop in the morning, we're gonna get into Arkansas in this video. That's right. But uh, this is that park right on the other side of the campground, the Lamar City Park that I missed last time. That a few viewers were like, Eric, could walk the block and see him go to the park. Well, luckily, uh, since I missed it, got a chance to check it out. It's really nice over here in the shade, actually. Really nice. Um, the free park and campground also has a dump station and drinking water available as well. But I'm gonna hit that up for sure on the way out in the morning. But different? Okay. Ah, I'm gonna go back inside the air conditioning. I will cut back in in the morning when we head for Arkansas, guys. All right, Missouri, we get it. You're weird. Freaking suspended submarine just off the highway. Yeah, why not? And think about this for a second. Where's the nearest ocean? Okay, it's actually kind of cool, but seriously, where the heck did this thing come from? All right, I don't know, but you stay weird, Missouri. Goodbye, see you later. Heading to Arkansas, here we go. Jax, wake up. Wake up, Jax, we're here. There's a sign coming up. This sign off to the right. Welcome to Arkansas. What does it say? The natural state. Natural, okay. Uh, I do apologize for the dirty bugs on the windshield. I started the day with a clean windshield and this is what happens just driving, so. I apologize, don't start scratching your laptop or your TV. It's, it's all me. And uh, boy, it's been a long time since I've been in Arkansas like three years ago, and I only went to the bottom southwest tip of it, so I can barely even count it. This is gonna be fun. I'm just gonna stop in here to the Arkansas Welcome Center, grab me a little state highway map. Not gonna be able to go too far into the right because these trees stick out way too much. Ooh, I wonder how many RVs eclipsed those. Well, this'll work for me. Awesome sauce. Wow, free coffee here at the Welcome Center. And uh, got my highway map. I did not have one of these for Arkansas, so that's good. Add to my collection. And uh, there's signs everywhere all over the place that says overnight parking allowed one night here at this tiny little rest area. You're only gonna get a couple RVs here, but still, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna go. I got something in mind, I'm really excited. Well, everybody, welcome to Bentonville, Arkansas, the home or the birthplace, you might call it, of Walmart. That's right, Sam Walton's first store here, Walton's. This is where the Walmart idea, the franchise started, and it's actually a museum now. There is another Walmart a few blocks away. Ironically, I have to mention this though quick, the way Walmart has developed as a superstore, it's funny that Sam Walton's original store here, this wouldn't even survive a normal Walmart, which he conceived and what morphed into the idea. But uh, 
Got a little museum, so uh, we'll go check it out. Got Jack's parked about six miles, six blocks away with air conditioning going on the generator, so he's good. So here's the storefront, and it says on the door, free admission to the Walmart Museum. So let's check it out. Yeah, here's the museum, and check it out. They even have magnets for the Walmart Museum. That one's kind of cool, just the blue button. What else we got? Okay, just a little bit of everything. Cool. Lots of cool uh, history in here. Here's Sam's uh, wife, Helen's wedding dress. Our mission, saving people money so they can live better. I got a little timeline here from the five and dime on over from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Another picture of the original store there. It says by the end of the 1950s, Sam Walton had eight Ben Franklin stores, bringing up nearly 1.4 million in annual sales. Ben Franklin stores, I don't even remember that. In the 60s, Walmart is born. Uh -huh. Still, here's 1969, still just in those four states. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. Sam Walton's office. Wow. Old saved newspaper. Walmart, grand opening. 22 departments. And so long, mom and pop shops. <laughs> Bust of Sam Walton. I will just also mention, I asked, there is no free overnight parking at this location, but there is several Walmarts in the area since this is, this is where it all began. 1970s, going on into Texas now. Yep, spreading like a wildfire. Neat old painting. Preserve Sam's old uh, 70? 79 Ford pickup truck here. There's Sam Walton in the red hat there, hunting. And we get into the 2000s on the timeline here. Over into the 2010s. And you can see, by 2016, 11,528 stores worldwide. Wow. And on the way out, you can get ice cream. A really cool old restaurant. Look at this really old TV here. It's working. Hmm. And the tables. Pretty cool. So yeah, a lot of history here in Bentonville. A lot of history. I'm not really a Walmart buff, but certainly certainly they, they really cater to RV life. Even if they kill small mom and pop shops, they do have overnight parking at, at over 90% of their locations in the US. And they have everything an RVer would need from produce to electronics to parts, so tires, so yeah, it's, it's convenient. Okay, that's my Walmart spiel, I'm gonna go check out something else. So just uh, eight miles east of Bentonville is Rogers, Arkansas, uh, which is the home of Daisy BB guns, and there's a museum over here as well I wanna go check out. Again, I'm parked right here, got the generator and air conditioning running for Jax just so he stays cool and nice. Check it out, Daisy Red Rider. Remember from the Christmas story? The Red Rider BB gun for Ralphie? Yeah. I really like the old style murals. Coca-Cola across the street. The Rogers Daisy Air Gun Museum. Lot to see here in Arkansas. Let's go check it out. See if they'll let me bring the camera in. Wow. This is cool. Look at this display case here. Oh, and of course on the way out they sell them right here for 80 bucks. Yep. Look at the gun lamp. Oh, that's too cool. I like that. I grew up with BB guns. We, we, lived at, we lived way far away from neighbors and it was always cool for me and my brother to shoot BB guns. Look at that old BB gun there. That's a Buck Jones, 1936 to 1941. Oh my. Wait a minute. They actually do sell the BB gun lamp for 80 bucks. That's too funny. Wow. This is just too cool. Oh my gosh. Look at all these they have on display. Look, Charles Bennett even had one. Really old advertising here from Buck Rogers. 1930s comics. Yep. Daisy Red Rider. The red plastic water pistol. Oh, what is that? 
Oh, well, that's pretty cool. That sign used to light up. I can see the lights in it. Oh my gosh. A leg lamp, everybody. Yep. I knew there was going to be something in here from Christmas Story. That is too funny. Yep. Ralphie got his Red Rider right there. But this is actually a, a full-size leg lamp. That's pretty cool. Fragile. You used up all the glue on purpose. Wow. The 50 millionth air rifle. Okay. This is like the, the gift shop on the way out. Yeah. I think I am going to actually upgrade my daisy gun. This one's really heavy. I like that one. That's cool. Jax man, what are you doing up front? You still getting AC up there? All right. And just so you guys know, I do drive sometimes, and I'm going to do it today, with the generator running and the air conditioner in here running. It, it doesn't hurt anything, and when it's really warm, it keeps the whole RV cool when I'm making little stops like these, like just quick stops to go run in and do stuff, keeps Jack safe. But, but yeah, I'll drive down the highway with the generator going and the air conditioning going as well, yep. All right, so here's my new toys, everybody. The Powerline 5501. It's actually got some good weight to it. I uh, got some more CO2 canisters, some BBs. I got a pin here for Daisy, which is really cool, the museum. I got a magnet, the Daisy Air Gun Museum magnet, as well as, oh, okay. This is the Walmart magnet I got. I know it's nothing spectacular or cool or unique, but actually it is kind of unique because you can't find these anywhere else in the country. So you have to go to the original Walmart. Oh, you want to check it out? Oh, okay. I guess you want to check it out. Just for reference, this is my old uh, power line. This is just the 415. So I went from the 415 to the 5501. This one is cheesy plastic. It's still a CO2 one. Uh, but yeah, really cheesy, chintzy. And this is so cool. I have to set up some target practicing with some pop cans somewhere soon. How was your lunch, buddy boo? My, what big paws you have. All the better to grab flies with with your thumbs. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you guys got to check out the museum over there. Really cool here in Rogers, Arkansas. Definitely worth a stop. Two bucks admission. All right, now I'm going to head down to Alma, Arkansas. That is the point where I, I turn east officially. I think that's 40 there. But I am, Jackson and I are going to camp in Alma. So uh, we'll be looking for a free campsite or something along the way. Don't know what we'll find. Ready to go? A very interesting old town here in Alma, Arkansas. Unfortunately, I completely struck out as far as finding a free campground of any kind. I found two state parks off the highway, kind of, but now I'm officially already back on 40 East, so heading towards Tennessee now. And All right, everybody. Well, as Popeye would say, eat your spinach and get grow big and strong. Yeah. Weird. I wonder if this town has something to do with Popeye or is this just for fun? I don't know. There's no plaques or anything written. <laughs> really nice old mural there too. It almost looks like a real bridge. So I guess since I'm in Arkansas, and this is the, the land of Walmart, I'm sure I can Google a Walmart. I don't feel like driving anymore today, so I'm pretty sure I can find a Walmart that's overnight friendly for RVs, and that's what we'll do. And then I'll do some planning, so let me do some research, see what I can come up with. There's literally a Walmart like eight blocks away. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Jax, you about ready to be done driving, dude? Just like that, there's a Walmart. It was. I was like, are you sure this is one of those fake ones? Because this is a really residential area. It didn't feel like there could be a Walmart. So, um, no signs that say no overnight parking. So, yeah, that's the work for me. Well, we're done driving, dude. We're done. 
You about ready to be done? All right, let's be done. Yeah, let's chill. Got some num nums? Ready for lunch? Okay. Actually, it's four o'clock. It's dinner time. We missed lunch. <laughs> All right. Um, here's what I'll do, guys. I'll do a little bit of research and see if I can find any campgrounds nearby. I want to end this video just because I want to edit. I had a lot of fun today. We got, got to see some great stuff. So let me put together a video and then Jackson, I'll be back hopefully from a neat little campground, maybe with some shade or water, you know, that type of thing. Uh, and I may even go to a state park if I have to, but uh, yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.